Is that better? Yes. Is that better? Okay. Okay. So this is my BPD. Because we're hitting the head at like an axial angle. We're hitting the head like at this angle. This is called my fox. In my side, my fox, I'm going to have what we call the cavum septum pellucid. I'm sure that's misspelled. Okay, it's like a little rectangle. If you see this, you need to go up and towards the top of the head a little bit more. You don't want to see this. Okay. And here's my lateral ventricle. Okay. Now. Let's say the green line here is the skin, okay? Do not measure skin, okay? So I'm gonna measure it from outer to yeah. inner. Outer to inner. Outer to inner. That's BPD by parietal diameter, parietal bone, parietal bone, okay? And then I'm gonna measure from here to here. And that's my, that's my OFD, occipital frontal dot diameter. And that is outer, to outer. Okay? Outer to outer. This is the stomach. This is my umbilical vein and the portal system. This is my spine. Okay? This is my spine. I'm going to do I'm going to look at my skin. So this is my skin. Okay. I'm going to include the skin on this baby, on the AP measurements. So I'm going to measure this. That's going to be my AP, APD. Anterior, posterior, posterior diameter. Okay. I'm going to measure this. T A D. Transverse diameter. From this side to this side. Okay? And that gives me my abdominal circumference. Okay? Each time I measure one of these, I'm going to measure it three times. Let my machine do an er error, a, a, a message. I mean an average. That means I'm going to lift my hand. Am I hurting you? Is everything okay? Do you need to go to the bathroom? Are you warm enough? Just talk. Put your hand back down. Find it again. Okay? Yeah. You never go by just one measurement. Okay? The last measurement, so here's my babies. That's my bladder. Okay. Here's my little turtle sign. So it's a boy. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is I am 
I'm going to measure here to here. I'm not going to measure those two little ossifications. I'm just going to measure the shaft. The shaft closer to the transducer. Okay, so let me ask you this. If this is my bladder, this is my stomach, I'll never see those in the same plane. Okay, here's my spine. How is this baby laying? Which leg is this? Right lower extremity. Here's my stomach. On the left side. Okay. Yes. Yesterday, the baby was like this, but I think she didn't like to see her. She said medium, medium. There was, she like something, but not see her. Rich. No. Something begins with M. Some doctors, you have to tell them which leg. So just get into the habit of annotating which leg. Yes. I'm looking for the CSP, the fox, and the lateral ventricle. Okay. This is the lateral ventricle. This here is called the cord praxis. Okay? And I'm gonna measure the cord plexus after I do my VPD. So you can use this image three different times because I'm also gonna use it for my CSP I'm going to use it for my lateral ventricle. Does it matter which uh, side, which lateral ventricle? Like the right Usually we don't see the anterior, we only see the posterior. Okay, for me to see it anterior, both of them, I have to come in this way. Why? Because of the bones. The older the baby gets, the more ossification there is. Okay. What is TAP? Uh, uh, trans abdominal diameter. Trans abdominal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, all the measurement is outer to outer except uh, bilateral B B D. Huh? It's outer to in. Which one? All the measurement is yes. outer to Yes. The B P D is outer, outer to inner. OFD, outer to outer. APD, skin, skin. Anterior, posterior. TAD, too. Yeah. TAD, skin. Because this tells us how much the baby weighs. This and this tell me the age of the baby. This will determine if I have a macro so make baby, a big baby. baby. Okay, HC, thank you, is this plus this gives me my head circumference. Okay, because I have to worry about this. This is a dolicocephalic. This is a brachy cephalic. Okay? That's why we do this. Do I have a dolicocephalic baby? If I have a dolicocephalic baby, my BPD is going to be a lot younger than my OFD. 
If I have a brachycephalic baby, my BPD is going to be older than the APD, the, the a OCD. Yeah, it's where you have a football shaped head. This is shaped like a ball. This is shaped like a football. This is a basketball. This is a football. Okay? Because there are certain things that we're going to be learning later on that make these two shapes. But whenever I do these measurements, it tells me my cephalic index. Okay? Ms. Shepard, can you also explain why it was important to get the stomach in an image by itself without the spine and the APD? Oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. This is the correct measurement level. You want the spine in transverse. You want the stomach and you want the umbilical vein joining the portal system in the liver for the correct level of your AC diameters. If you have kidneys, and that can happen, you need to go up or down? Down. No, I want to, I want to go up. Here's my kidneys, right? Mm -hmm. Here's my stomach, so I want to come up. Because I don't want kidneys. In my measurement. Okay? This is the level that you take your abdominal circumference. I don't want anything else in the image. I don't want bladder. I don't want kidneys. I want to get a true transverse. And those measurements we input here. Here's my BPD, my OFD, and that gives me my head circumference. And the abdominal circumference comes from these two measurements. Okay? And you can tell that according to this, here's her LMP. So the machine tells me that she is due June the 12th, 2003. Okay? Because her period was in September of 2002. So now I'm going, this gives me this. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is the estimated day of delivery or estimated day of confinement, okay? This is the date, according to LNP, that she is supposed to have her baby. It's also going to tell me that this baby weighs 130, uh, three pounds and three three pounds zero ounces at this point in time. Huh? Hadlock. 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 Those Hadlock. Is, he he is the one that invented or developed this measurement, this measurement system. There's several other. But Hadlock is the is he's the grandfather. Okay, he's the one that everybody uses. Okay, he's from Houston. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so here we have estimated that the baby weighs this much. And we have found out that we're right on the money. Mm -hmm. no. So this is the average. This is the average of gestational age. And when we did put in our measurements, we came in 
and we were exact. So can you say that um, the size of the baby has some correlation with abnormalities if there's